What's going on everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the most out of my dual piece control practice map. I'm going to demonstrate each of the 7 drills in order with my teammate here so you can understand how to effectively practice dual piece control in a way that will help you build muscle memory and improve your team's coordination. First thing I want to say right off the bat is that one of the most efficient ways of practicing dual piece control is to have one player shoot off the enemy builds while the other player reclaims them and sets up an angle for the shooter. The person with lower ping should be the one who does this in game but in this map you should try both. When the player holding the wall gets it, the teammate stops shooting until the next edit is open. After the teammate gets a shot off, you want to either get in there and help him clean up or reset the wall and practice again. Going for a full box on the target is really up to you, there's room to do it, but when you're pushing real players, they're usually in their own box, which is why I recommend practicing it like I'm showing here, one person shooting and the other one editing. You could even practice this map using pre-edits because those catch people off guard, you just want to make sure you're both on the same page. In course number 2, the wall is in a spot where you can take it and shoot through it from behind this wall. To take this wall from the side like this, you gotta either look to the left or at the corner of the floor here cause looking straight at it doesn't work. If you're too far forward and try taking the wall right in front of it, you're in danger of the enemy editing and hitting you with a heavy shot. Make sure you and your teammate practice staying out of each other's way so that you're not blocking each other's angles. When you take the wall and edit for your teammate, you really can't go wrong from this side because of this peak. Once he hits the bot, either reset the wall and do it again or help him clean up. When the wall is on the opposite side, you don't start with a good angle, but you can still get this wall if you look in the right place. If you look to the right wall running to the left, you can get the wall and be in a great spot to go for peace control through this window. It's just like course number one, where you grab everything and make an edit for your teammate. This may look simple or like common sense to some of you, but consistent practice in this map will help you and your duo build chemistry and muscle memory so when you're in a fight, you don't have to worry about who's going to hold the wall or take it a 50-50 because you got in each other's way. In the next course, you're replacing this cone and claiming what you can before giving your teammate a right hand peek with the wall. Make sure you stay far enough to the left wall you're building so that you don't get in your teammate's way. When you're on the opposite side like this, you want to make sure you stay on the left side of the cone once you take it so that you can edit this right side for your teammate and get a safe shot on the enemy. Remember, you're not making the edit for yourself, you're making the edit for your teammate so he can shoot and then instantly reset it or help him kill the enemy. In course 4 you're pushing from below, so after you take this wall you want to make a window and let your teammate go for a jump peek. You can even get a shot through the window like this if you press yourself up against the wall. There isn't much of a safer way to run this one as a duo, but you could make this window on the right and let your teammate get close to it and hit him like that. When pushing from above straight in front of you, treat it like the last course and open the right side for your teammate to shoot through. In this course especially, make it a habit to pay attention to where your teammate is so you can give your teammate the best angle. In this one you're pushing one by one box and you can approach it in any way you want. Me and my teammate decided to push the box starting on the left while blocking this angle just in case the enemy either went out the side or went up out the cone. Just remember to coordinate with your teammate which edits you're trying to make so that you don't get in each other's way. This next one has two targets so you have to be extra careful that you don't expose your teammate because they're going to get hit by two guns this time. In this one we were experimenting by blocking off different angles before taking the wall and made sure to block off the second enemy while shooting at the first one. Another way we decided to experiment in this course was by pushing from the top. We grab both the cone and the floor here and make sure to shove something in the box so he can't defend himself and place this wall right between the two opponents. After we each get a shot off on the first target, I'm able to open the wall from over a tile away like this and it gives me and my teammate a pretty good angle. The seventh drill is a long dual piece control tunnel that includes a variety of scenarios where you'll use what you know from the other six drills. This tunnel is similar to the one in Jive and TV's dual piece control map that came out more than a year ago. That map is great, but I think it's time we have a dual practice map with repeatable drills because you can build that muscle memory with your teammate. The tunnel style is still good for having a variety between the drills though, so I made my own version so you got more options. We start off with a couple wall takes from different directions. One of you shoots them out, and the other one claims everything. It's important that you and your teammate communicate when you've successfully taken the wall from the opponent so they can stop spraying before they take out your wall too. Each one of these sections in the tunnel has something that involves using what you know from the other six drills. When you're coming up to this part where you're going up to the side, you can grab a wall through this cone, take everything through the window while your teammate's going for a jump shot.
Right here you're going to edit the cone for your teammate and practice placing and editing through this diagonal tunnel while paying attention to where the enemy could be next. When you're shooting at the enemy from here, it's a good idea to have at least one teammate back up on this ramp so they can have the right hand peek while the other one gets in the enemy's face. Same thing here on this side, you want to grab everything and let your teammate go for a jump shot and then get in there or run the window again. Right here you want to go for a drop down, but you don't want to be right below them because there's this other wall here, so you can start from back here and do whatever you want with this wall. In this part, you're going to practice taking the cone from whatever side involves the least risk to one of you getting hit. On this one, be on the left. You don't have to use the wall because we, yeah, we don't have that angle really. You hit him good. I just need to For this part, you and your teammate are going to side jump to opposite sides and hit the enemies from two different angles. You guys can side jump to the same layer and go for peace control from either side. You could switch it up a little bit, one player side jumps up one layer and the other one does a high wall side jump and gets a head start on the second enemy, it's really up to you. Oh wait, no it was yeah, up it's fine. again. That was clean. This next part is for you to practice taking walls up against an actual box, and you can also pre-box or predict anywhere you think the enemy could go, and you want to practice that without getting in each other's way. For this last part, you're just going to drop this target down, probably want to pre-box him before you drop him down, and coordinate with your teammate who's going to be standing where. I hope this video helped some of you understand how you can maximize your time while practicing in this map, and I hope you and your duo can improve your coordination in fights from practicing this map.